The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Our next guest, Tammy, is here to tell us how a beautiful sunny day boating in Florida with her husband, Rob, turned into her worst nightmare. Take a look. Earlier this year, my husband and I moved to Pensacola, Florida. One month ago, we decided to go out to our favorite island spot in our boat. We got to our island around lunchtime, and it was so windy that day that the boat had parked itself sideways to the island. So Rob had to get out to push the boat off of the sand so we could back it out. And about the same time, the wind fishtailed. I heard Rob say, the motor got me, I need a tourniquet. And I seen the blood come out of the water and I said, oh my God, oh my God. The calf was tore, all the shreds. I could see the muscle, the bone, blood, lots and lots of blood. So as I'm tying the tourniquet, he was turning white, having a hard time breathing. He said, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I grabbed my phone, called 911, and I told him, please, he felt bad, he's going to die, he's going to, he's going to die. She said, okay, help was on the way. I went back to holding the tourniquet again, and I was really starting to have a hard time breathing now. And I'm really inside, starting to lose, lose hope. I'm like, he's really going to die right here. Finally, after 35 minutes, I could see the Coast Guard. So I said, they're here. They're here, baby. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. Thank you so much for being with us today, Tammy. And, you know, hearing your story, I'm so sorry for what you and your husband went through. Tell us what happened when you finally got to the hospital. When I finally got to the hospital, I rushed into the emergency room exit and the employee at the desk said, the chaplain wants to speak to you. The chaplain wants to speak to you. So I immediately just went down on my knees thinking the worst, what she was going to tell me. Well, we are more than happy to welcome our next guest to the show. Joining us now is Tammy's husband, Rob. Rob, you don't know how happy we are to see you sitting there, alive and well, smile on your face. Tell us, how are you feeling? I'm in some pain, but I am so thankful to be here by my angel in more ways than one. You know, when we marry a girl, we say she's our angel, but Tammy is truly, truly my angel for saving my life. So. Rob, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, do you, Rob, remember anything from, from that day on the beach? Uh, yes, sir. I, I actually never lost consciousness. I was up beside the boat and I was pushing it. I thought I was safe um, and got it out about chest deep uh, in the water. And I grabbed a hold of the ladder and I told her to fire it up. And as soon as she did, um, the boat spun around and I, to this day, I can still hear the clumping of it going up my thigh. About that time, the water started turning red, just like in a shark movie. And uh, she, she threw the rope and the, uh, the anchor towards me, uh, which I grabbed it and I, put, I tried to put it on. Uh, of course, I was not very successful. And by the grace of God, I was able to get myself back toward shore, holding on to that rope, probably into about two feet of water. And then she came to my aid and got the tourniquet on. 